What is going on everybody? We are at a lake. I didn't vlog any of the drive here. I probably should have. I kind of planned on it and then I decided, you know, there's not a whole lot that's interesting in South Dakota. This would basically be my, my the, the vlog if I did a travel vlog. Yeah, not all that interesting. Corn, corn and wind. But we're here, we are in South Dakota, five and a half hour, this is almost a six hour road trip. Just decided like a last second thing. I'm with my buddy Christian and Matt. And we are here to catch some smallmouth. Something I have not done all year. I, I used to spend a lot of time here as I was a kid. Me and my dad used to come up here all the time. I've never fished this lake though. Christian said there's giants here though. We're gonna go after this trophy. Trophy size smallmouth. It's gonna be exciting. Hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy these smallmouth videos. I'm hoping to catch some smallmouth and some very large northern pike. Some big walleyes too. Might even do a catch and cook. Anyways, I'm gonna quit talking. I'm gonna do get all rigged up and sit you my faded and we are gonna catch some biggins. Woo! We're ready to go. There's a little bit of a slight algae bloom on the lake. Should hopefully you think that's gonna deter the smallmouth? No. Nah. We're here at the juice. We're here. Boy, Brun, bring that ass here, boy. At the juice. Here we go, folks. Starting off with a, I'm starting off with a drop shot or a Ned rig, but I turned it into a drop shot. I don't know if this has ever been done before. I'm just gonna say that I made it up. So there's a hook and a Ned rig. It's gonna be down here and then there's gonna be a little drop shot. So instead of just having random weight down there, I'm gonna have two lures on. Hopefully gonna catch two big old fat small jaws we're gonna see if this works a little dual bait action christian says this is the juice so we should catch a fish oh there's one yep there's one first fish no i think we're good first fish on the old double rig the old drop shot ned rig special which one do you think do you think they're you think it bit the uh the top bait or the bottom bait does he know he's been hooked yet i don't know Oh, it's just a dink. oh, we got a squeaker! What'd he bite? He, bought, he bit the drop shot, didn't he? God dang, these things fight. Well, you know. Oh, sh. Uh. <laughs> Alright. So, even in uh, even in old South Dakota, gotta represent the flare fish gang, but he bit the drop shot. So, that's a sign they might want it a little bit more suspended. They're throwing, he's throwing bottom bait, and he's throwing bottom bait. I'm the only one throwing somewhat of a drop shot rig. This isn't even quite a drop shot. It's called the flare rig. I've got one. You got a fish? Yeah. Is this your first smallmouth? First smallmouth. Matt's never caught a smallmouth. Maybe. Maybe. Is it? It's kicking. It's kicking. It's a fish. Oh, wow. Oh, catch it. You didn't catch it. Doesn't count. Yep. Doesn't, wow. ca doesn't, doesn't count. Okay, we were, uh, we're in Dinkville, folks. We're going we're gonna to probably change up some tactics here. See if we can catch some big ones. Matt's hooked up. His first ever smallmouth. Is it a big one? It feels, good. it feels, I mean, it looks pretty good. Oh, it's a, oh, pike. It's a pike. You caught your first pike. You never caught a pike either. Well, there you go. Nasty. First, uh, first toothy critter. There you go. Not a smallmouth. Back to back cast, though. You had a baby smallmouth and a, uh, and a little northern pike. One my, my road there's one. There's one. Biggin. It's a good one. It's a oh, walleye. We got dinner, boys. There we go. South Dakota wall. Dude, that's a fat one too. There we have it, folks. Good old South Dakota walleye. How far off the ground boat? We're not gonna keep that one. Those are good eating, but not gonna do a catch and cook today. Not that wasn't quite a quite a big enough one. If I catch a little bigger one, I might keep it, but that was not of size. Well, that's my second fish, I believe. Still having a tough time catching these. Smallies removed spots a few times. That was on a tube Put down the old flare rig that didn't I didn't get any more love on that thing We're gonna keep moving spots. We've got about an hour left Before the Sun Sun goes down two hours later. Well folks Not the day we expected or hoped for what we didn't realize when we got here is it's cold There's a cold front. I mean we did go north to South Dakota. I just didn't expect it to be this cold right now We're what do you guys think 60? It's, oh, probably, it's probably 60 yeah, I wouldn't say it's any colder than 60, about 60. And uh, it's gonna be 97 tomorrow. So big cold front, we're gonna blame it on that. We're probably just really, really bad smallmouth fishermen, but we're just gonna use the excuse that it's a cold front. We're gonna get up tomorrow. I don't know uh, if I'm gonna get up early and go try to, <laughs> just being honest with you guys, cause uh, 
if it's if it's like 60 degrees now it's probably gonna be a lot colder in the morning so i'm gonna pick up the camera tomorrow it'll either be morning top water or mid-morning probably drop shot and tube fishing hope you guys enjoyed so far stay tuned to tomorrow day two Good morning, everybody. It's day two. Well, morning, morning one, I guess day two of our trip to South Dakota. Yesterday was a little rough. Today, starting off with some boat repairs and uh, we're gonna be on our way. Right now it's 8.07 a.m. and uh, we slept in a little bit just cause it's cold. Like it's about 40, no, not 40. It's like 57 degrees right now. Not, not that warm, we're gonna go Hit a couple different lakes today. Targeting basically just big, big largemouth, big smallmouth, big, big northern pike. Maybe some walleyes. I'm gonna quit talking though. Let's go catch some fish. A few moments later. It runs out from this point. Oh, that was a bite. Yep. Yep. Hooked up. First fish of the day, boys. Well, smallmouth. Finally crushed that tube. Did it? Yeah, he smacked it. That's not, that's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. We'll take it, boys. It's a little football. Here, buddy. Oh, good old small jaws. Look at that. Just absolute chunk. Doubled? Oh, boys, I think we found the juice. Tripled? Yep. No way. We got a triple. Dude, you got to be kidding me. We just got the school fired up. Matt just caught a small one. Christian's got a toad on. Oh, baby. There you go. Hold that one out, boy. Look at that freaking South Dakota brute. Small, medium, large. Atta boy, Christian. Yeah. Look at that little football right there, boy. All right, see you later, little guy. Whoop. Incredible, boys. Let's catch another. Oh, Matt's got Matt's hooked up. Yeah, buddy, that's a good one. That's his. That's his PB uh, small. That's for sure. That's a solid fish. That is a freaking stud. That's not even, I mean, that's that's like three. Like, that's really not that big, but for what we've had to deal with so far, that's a, that's a pretty good one. We're starting to get them somewhat figured out here. Still taking time. We don't we don't have any marker buoys, so I was making one out of a Powerade bottle right as he caught that. We're trying to uh, kind of improvise here, find the juice. Big one? Straight out front, cast your bait. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna start, start a feeding frenzy here, folks. Oh, it's a big one. All right. Christian's hooked up. We're finally hooked up. Do you need the net? Yeah. There you go. That's a good one. Broke right at the... There you go. Christian's kick a butt right now. I think I only have one. He's got a handful of good ones. Matt just had one break off. That was, it's like these, I don't know if any of you guys are really small on fish that are watching. I'm sure some of you guys have, but they move in wolf packs. So you'll go 30 minutes with nothing. And then all of a sudden you'll double and triple up. And you have to just like stay stay in the zone, keep covering water and trying to find these fish. Right now we're on a we're on a big rock reef, sitting around between five and fifteen feet of water, just whether we're on top of it or on the side. And that's what we're doing. We're throwing drop shots and neds, ned rigs. That's so far is what's been what's been doing it. Well folks, it's about one o'clock. Trying to do the uh, the mid midday update here, brought to you by Delhi Express. Been a little slow for me. Christian's been up there doing doing work. I've uh, not had a whole lot of luck on the old drop shot. We've basically been fishing the same spot all day long for the last like three or four hours. We're gonna make a change. We're gonna go fish some docks, flip some docks for smallmouth and some largemouth. Just gonna throw a little little bit of a mix in this vidya for you. Shout out to Outlaw. And, uh, and then we might come back here before we take off. And then we're gonna go to another lake tonight. So I don't know how much of this you guys are gonna see in this video. It kind of just depends how many fish I catch now. But for now, we're gonna go. We're gonna go find some shade, eat a eat a nice sandwich, and uh, go catch some more bass.
There he is. Out of the dock. Get out of the dock. Get out of the dock. Yep. Smalley. Smalley out of the dock on the drop shot. That's a good one, too. Dude, that's a good one. Yeah. Finally. Come here, buddy. Come on. Yes, sir. Right in the corner of the mouth. <gasps> it's about damn time. No kidding. I don't think I caught a fish for about the last five and a half hours. There it is, folks. That's a that's a solid fish. Got that on the drop shot flipping docks. Look how weird that back looks. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like, you see that? Skinny. Super skinny on the back, but I mean, it's, I guess he is just kind of a skinny fish. Awesome. Love, love catching these little smallmouth. I've been kind of on the struggle bus so far today, but it's, uh, it's been fun. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we've got, I've got plenty of goods. There's one in the dock. Is that a large mouth? Oh, I caught a green one. Well, look at that, folks. I caught a green fish. We've got a cheerleading squad over there cheering me on. Caught that on a little bluegill colored swim jog. Good, uh, good little fish. It's a little flare fish right there, a little buckaroo. The second that thing went out of the dock, smoked it. We've only got about an hour or so left and then I think we're gonna head to a different lake here. That's not something you see every day while fishing. The plane just landed in the water, and now it's taking off again. We're uh, we're flipping docks, and a plane just landed on the lake. Was <laughs> as uh, you ever seen that before? No, definitely not. No, let me know in the comment section. Have you guys ever seen that before? That's uh, rather interesting. And smallmouth. That's a good one. Oh, That's a good one. That's a First cast on the drop shot, boys. There we go. We pulled up to a new spot. Fishing deep. We only have 15 minutes left. First cast on the drop shot. I told you I'd redeem myself, boy. Don't lose this thing. Now. Oh, I'm not going to lose it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm not losing it. Yeah, he's not that big. They just fight harder out deep like this. I'm also using a spinning rod. Come on, give up. Get you, get you a butt in the net. Yes, sir. All right, folks, that's one of the last smallies of the day on this lake. See, buddy? Woo! Hell yeah. That drop shot was my enemy all day long. First cast I made, smoked them. We are ending the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Caught a lot of fish. We were trying to add them up. We probably caught between like 30 and 40 fish. Obviously, you guys didn't see all of them, but Christian and Matt definitely caught more than me. I kind of struggled for like the first like four or five hours. But then we got into my home turf of flipping a jig and fishing chow and I made a little bit of a comeback. Not anything crazy, but I ended up catching some, some nice fish. It was a good, good, good day out on the water in South Dakota. I am ending today's video here, but I'm at another lake that I'm gonna start the other video at, if that made any sense. Either way, you guys are gonna be looking forward to like three, hopefully like two or three more South Dakota smallmouth. Hopefully some big Northern Pike videos coming soon. If you guys like these, let me know down below. Hit the like button and let me know down below. Drop a comment. Where do you want me to go next? I'm, I'm fishing up north now. Now do you want me to go down south? Do you want me to go down to Florida? Do you want me to go like to China? I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section. Where should I go next? Like I said, if you like smallmouth fishing, leave a like on this video. Would really appreciate it if you guys did. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I don't know why if you guys are watching this and you haven't subscribed, why you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe because I post two to three videos every single week trying to give you guys as many tips as possible. I didn't really give any tips today because I didn't really know what I was doing. I was mainly just throwing tubes and drop shots on rocks and then skipping jigs under docks. Pretty simple stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna end this video here, start up the next video right 